How do you find a good quality new car? Unfortunately, the latest survey from JD Power shows vehicle quality is actually getting worse. It seems that the quality woes of the pandemic are hanging on. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. It might surprise some people to learn who's topping the list on the JD Power's 2023 U.S. initial quality study. Dodge, Ram, and Alfa Romeo were the top three, while some perennial favorites, Ford, Lincoln, and Toyota, took a slide. New vehicle quality, after hitting the lowest level in more than three decades last year, is unfortunately getting worse, according to J.D. Power. Not all things are equal across the board for all manufacturers and all models, though. After some discussion about these latest concerns, we'll share some ideas with you about how to sniff out which makes and models of new cars are more likely to have fewer problems and be worth considering with the high car prices, especially if for the type of buyer who likes to buy it new and keep your car until it dies. And I really recommend you do keep it till it dies. Totally. First of all, changes and advancements in technology create more opportunities for problems to arise. And issues are cropping up not only with fancy features, but even with basic vehicle functions such as the ease of opening doors. <laughs> According to J.D. Power's 2023 initial quality study, those factors contributed to a record high number of vehicle problems this year, adding to quality issues last year that stemmed from supply chain shortages and remote work. On average, owners reported 192 problems per 100 vehicles industry-wide, according to a survey up from 180 a year earlier and 162 in 2021. That essentially means you're guaranteed to have a problem. The study, conducted from February through May, is based on actual buyer responses from 93,380 buyers and lessees of new 2023 model year vehicles who have had their vehicles for three months or more. J.D. Power surveys vehicle buyers and lessees about their vehicle's infotainment system, features, controls and displays, exterior, interior, driver assist technologies, powertrain, seats, climate system, and driving experience. Frank Hanley of J.D. Power said, It's not one thing that's deteriorating in the industry. There's just a lot of little things going wrong, and it's adding up to big problems for customers. Yeah. Unfortunately, the number of problems tracked per 100 vehicles rose 6.5%, from 2022 to 2023, following an 11% rise from 21 to 22. Before then, the largest increase in problems in a given year ever was 3%. Wow. This directly coincides with the COVID shutdowns and some chip shortages, and likely from some of the better employees staying home or eventually quitting their jobs altogether. Right. Hanley continued, I don't see this changing anytime soon. With what they're doing and how they're handling these types of situations, we're still going down a very bumpy path. Well, let's start with who is performing better in the 2023 model year. New vehicle quality actually improved at 12 of 33 brands ranked in the study. Dodge, Ram, Alfa Romeo, Porsche, Maserati, Jaguar, Subaru, Jeep, Mitsubishi, Audi, Chrysler, and Volvo topped the list this time. Dodge rose from second place to number one, meaning the fewest problems with 140 problems per 100 vehicles, followed by Ram with 141. Ram had ranked 18th in 2022. Mm -hmm. Alfa Romeo improved to number three with 143 problems per 100 vehicles, which is 68 fewer than 2022. It also topped the rankings of premium brands. Maserati was the most improved brand with 182 problems per 100 vehicles, 73 fewer than a year earlier. Stellantis made significant gains in part because many vehicles carried over from the previous model year were largely unchanged, a strategy which tends to produce fewer problems than new launches, allowing for improvement of existing features. Some of the automakers' brands posted double-digit improvements with audio and safety systems. That's a key takeaway right there. If you're going to buy new, buy a specific model, and if it's mostly the same as the previous model year or years before it, your odds of avoiding problems improve. When new features are introduced, new problems come with them. We invite our viewers to comment below with specific models that you're driving right now that had nowhere near the 100 plus quality problems that we're talking about today. We have more to share on Stellantis' specifics for their much improved quality scores. Perhaps some of our viewers who weren't thrilled with their vehicles in the past may give them another chance. We're saying you might be pleasantly surprised. For example, with the help of a little coaching from you, Kevin, our friend Howard bought a Ram truck and a Durango SUV and is very happy with both. He got pretty big discounts on both vehicles and got away without paying a ton of dealer fees. That's right. Difficult task in today's market. Yeah. Buick and Chevrolet rounded out the top five in the report. While GMC and Cadillac finished among the top 10, the General Motors brands also had a lot of vehicles carried over from the previous model year, which, as I said earlier, contributes to fewer quality problems. 
Juan Carlos Jimenez, vice president of quality for GM North America, said in a statement, This is the third time in four years we've had the highest initial quality among all automakers, and that sort of consistency shows a customer-first culture. It also says a lot about the efforts of the entire GM team to design, build, sell, and service a diverse selection of vehicles. Ford Motor Company's brands had the largest year-over-year decline in initial quality, led by Lincoln with 208 problems per 100 vehicles, if having more problems is leading. Yeah. <laughs> 41 more than last year, Ford had 201 problems per 100 vehicles, up by 34. Ford said, we're committed to delivering quality experiences that customers expect and deserve from us. Just not right now. Oh, sure. And <laughs> we will not rest until we do just that. We're confident we're making progress to improve quality in newer models. Four models were in the top three of their segments, including Bronco Sport, Maverick, Nautilus, and Ranger. Customer feedback from sources like J.D. Power and our own internal measures are helping us pinpoint where to improve on the way to achieving best-in-class quality performance in high-volume segments and being among the leaders in all segments by 2025. Well, here's what ah, So they'll get around to it in the next couple of years. Sure. Toyota actually fell eight spots to number 22, dropping below the industry average at 194 problems per 100 vehicles. Toyota introduced a new audio system last year on the Tundra full-size pickup and has since added it to other vehicles. Toyota did a fix of a bunch of problems on the Tundra this year, so scores related to the truck should improve. While manufacturers try to introduce new technologies to update their cars, it can be hard to get it right on the first pass. Across the industry, wireless smartphone charging pads had the biggest deterioration year over year, with consumers reporting issues with overheating and lost connectivity. Consumers also reported more problems than a year ago with advanced driver assist technologies, such as lane departure and forward collision warnings. This one kind of makes me laugh. Door handles have become harder to open, <laughs> particularly on electric vehicles, as automakers redesign them with the idea of having them be more aerodynamic. Ooh. EVs with an average 260 problems per 100 vehicles also performed more poorly this year than last compared to ICE engines. Here's what's been happening at Stellantis specifically. Maybe how they're approaching quality will improve your consideration of a new Chrysler Dodge Jeeper Ram. The headline reads, how Stellantis made its quality gains and keeps them going. After years of subpar showings, Stellantis's Dodge, Ram, and Alfa Romeo brands topped the JD Power 2023 initial quality study. Outgoing customer experience head David McDonald is near retirement, but he's been with Stellantis since 1993. He describes two key takeaways on why they're in a much better quality position. Overall, Stellantis is proud that Dodge is number one, Ram is number two, and Alfa Romeo is number three. The first key takeaway from McDonald is that they are actively testing and measuring their quality progress, most notably by partnering with dealerships to listen to what problems people are coming in with on new vehicles. Every single plant has to have three or four local dealerships that they have a strong connection to. Engineers spend every Friday morning going there, seeing what the customers are seeing, what the dealership employees are seeing, and then giving some feedback to the plant. The other takeaway for Stellantis is the relatively new control tower model for quality control. It used to be the corporate engineering group who was the hub of quality. Now with Stellantis, it's the assembly plants themselves. This makes total sense to me, given my background in manufacturing and quality control. The people in charge of quality used to be people in high-paying jobs at distant locations, and you could see the results in the past. Stellantis hadn't performed well in quality, but now the quality is being controlled right at the plant level. That's an excellent move, in my opinion. Everything happens at the assembly plant, so each one has their own tower control person. Every internal audit also means that suppliers and engineers gather at the assembly plant, too. Whenever a problem is found at the plant, the whole line shuts down as all the vehicles are checked for the same issue. This seems like it would keep quality issues contained in the plant instead of these things being discovered later by disgruntled customers after they've already purchased the new vehicle. It sucks to discover a problem when you got the vehicle. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our discussion today about new vehicle quality. As a quick recap, if you're in the market for a new vehicle, check out the rankings in the JD Power initial study. Pick a make and model that seems relatively unchanged from previous years and has a low problems per 100 car rating. And you'll have not just a new car, but a reliable new car. In general, the more technology a vehicle has, the more potential problems it can have and will have as it ages as well. We're not completely out of the woods on the chip shortage yet with regard to problems, but our opinion is, in general, on technology and fancy features, that less is actually more. 
Well, friends, we are in the midst of launching our long-awaited Homework Guy-assisted, hassle-free new car buying process, and we look forward to broadcasting a show soon, sharing more details of how it all is going to work. If you jumped on our notification wait list, because we are running trial experiments at the moment, don't be surprised when I call you and say, Hello, my friend, this is the Homework Guy. We are now ready to help you buy a new car. Hoo-ah! By the way, it's not too late to get on the list, and tons of people are doing that every day. Find the link in the description box down below or visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, to find it. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of future shows. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we do here for you. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And we so appreciate the trust and confidence that thousands of you have shown us by getting on the notification list for the new hassle-free car buyer's notification. If you're new here, we invite you to join our huge YouTube family. If you've just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back and to all of the longtime subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.